people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, se, what they do. Now, people, this one is called why, 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 why. Why do I have to speak about Blue Royal and their mother, the Vagabond, the Tegareg, the liar, them, two of the liarest persons in the history of social media? Again, once again. Now, people, I did maybe about three or four videos and I said to myself, I am getting tired. And when I did the first video, the court of public opinion spoke and they said that this girl is a liar. She was telling all sorts of lies. She is basically sick. She is a psychopath. Even though she made the man from the Bahamas look like he was some sort of stalker. Some sort of person that was trying to take her out by hiring somebody to take her out. You understand? I am not speaking about her date. So the court of public opinion spoke even before they heard the person from Barbados we are speaking about Jake. And then we saw that they basically disablogged a triple X. And they claimed that he was lying and he claimed that he was making up all sorts of story. However, people, they were going back and forth on the internet and they are saying that he is bad man and he is making up story. And he is basically hallucinating. However, Triple X basically dropped a bump on them. Triple X did a live on Instagram with Jake the man himself. We are speaking about words from the horse's mouth. And Jake spoke and Jake spoke eloquently and what was even worse are... Not in their favor is the fact that Jake was a soft-spoken person and Jake was trying to cover up for them before he was told that, listen, you have to give your side of the story. You have to basically spill the beans. And he did. He said everything. He said that he was supporting their habit. He was sending money to the mother through the daughter or through the daughter for the mother or whatever the rest cases. He was sending money to the two of them. So anyway... After that, I thought that it was a done deal. I thought that they were done and dusted. I thought that these persons would have basically taken themselves like that dancer or basically got part down a river town where I talk about the dumb. However, people, it seems like the vagabonds, it seems like they were not done. It seems as if even with shame, they still came on social media last night and they did a live and people, to tell you the truth, I was surprised because after all the evidence that Jake proved, after all the receipts, after all the documentation, after any and everything that could prove his story was proven, I don't know what they were going to say. And people, they did exactly just as I thought. I thought that they were going to deflect from the fact. I thought that they were going to come on the social media and put on a show, put on a parade, put on all sorts of deflection on people. That is exactly what they did. They tried to blame Triple X and said Triple X is the person that basically was telling the man exactly what to do. He was drilling the man to say this and people no H-O-M-O. -O. I mean that he was asking him questions and he wanted specific answers and the man was giving these specific answers. So now these two vagabond, these two liar, these two people where I don't even have words to explain, they are claiming that this man now Triple X is looking for some sort of relationship. He wants the man money. However, people, what they failed to do was prove or disprove whatever Jake had to say. They had no evidence. They had no receipt. So people, like I've always said, they realize that a lot of persons upon social media, they are brainwashed. They are easily misled like some sheep. So therefore, if them come and put on some sort of show and were convincing enough, they would have convinced enough people to take them side. However, people, I think that their whole act, it was a failure. It was an epic failure. It only made them look even worse than they actually are. And people, when I speak about despicable, I am speaking about despicable. I have never seen a mother and daughter combination more despicable or more despicable disgusting ever in any place upon the world not even in a, any sort of movie may I talk about drama these persons this mother and daughter blue royal or blue ivy or whatever her stripper name is is very disgusting point blank and pure so anyways people like i said she tried to do a whole lot of deflecting she tried to make it seem as if triple x was basically talking with this man 
and they were trying to put up some sort of fraudulent story. She talked about Triple X big and sour. She was basically trying to shame the man. And like I said, people, they did not come with any sort of evidence to prove that this man we are speaking about, Jake from, Jake from Barbados, he was lying. They could not do that. They could not provide the receipts, none at all. And even what was even worse, the mother was making up noise in the background once again. She sounded like some sort of distortion, like she always does. And she is claiming she was this in person and say, all who did it, I walk out of the woman, them where I walk for free. Now, people, don't you see that there is something definitely wrong? Don't you see that this lady is an actual PIMP? Because she is making it seems as if, if you are in a, some sort of relationship and you are basically S E X I N G for free, you are an idiot. So, therefore, what she is telling everybody, all the women out there, including her daughter, that if you have some sort of relationship, if you are giving it up, if you are lying on your back, you're supposed to a collect like some sort of machine. We are talking about some sort of vending machine. Now, people, don't you see that is something or there is something fundamentally wrong with the mind space, with the thinking, with the meds of this lady. As a matter of fact, she is not even medicine because she is disgusting, like I said, people. I have never seen a set of persons so lie. I have never seen a set of persons so wicked. I've never seen a set of persons so diabolical. Well, then again, maybe I have. I actually saw this a couple of months ago. But people, that's for our next story. So anyways, people, like I said, this young lady, she did a live and the people them was giving it to her in the comment section. So therefore, she and the mother was going back and forth and cussing out the people that was watching her live. So people, obviously, we saw that she realized that she was not getting the support that she thought that she would have gotten. However, like them say, desperate times calls for a desperate measure and people, this was a desperate act and people, more than likely, this will be the last time that we are seeing or hearing from this mother and daughter combination because right now what they need to do they need to take away themselves they need to find a car or rent a car or use that same rent a car and drive themselves over to the river town dump and basically dump themselves basically stay there basically make that their point of destination we are speaking about their final resting place point blank and period so anyways people like i said it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source one word i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please uh, subscribe to this channel we are speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please uh, press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news is a lady that they slapped away i think yesterday at in a Linstead and she works for the transport center and people it was very bad i think that she got at least seven pieces some in the melon some all over the upper body so anyways people i am going to let you listen to a few voice notes and then i'm going to give my piece hey brother morning time morning time yo man from bamboo near milio italy like a transport authority where they been killed two hours on them you say man and slap her out since fine now and bus a Linstead. Now, people, like I said, she picked up seven pieces in the bus in the front seat. And also, based on the report, it is said that the driver of the bus, he also picked up one in his hand. We are speaking about casualty of war. So, people, I am going to let you listen to the next voice note, and then I'm going to give my piece. She turned Christian Lisa, say, and then, I think then one of her son about three years ago, me here, huh? and one then a couple of weeks ago, something like that. Me, I said, she said, me and them are saying gone soon back and son them. I think they can son them to you know. Yes, and then the family, our family move her family and see that come back. They say him not have nothing with against nobody. And then a seven shop then, seven shop then gear in the front seat with the driver. And the driver must get one penny on. Now people, like them say, if it not go so, it go something like so. And the truth and the fact is that her sons were also taken out and based on the information that is out there this is a family of troublemakers we are speaking about her two sons they were some set of persons that were out there 
creating all sorts of havoc. There were some violence producers. There were some slap away people. As a matter of fact, there was one incident that everybody in Alinstead know where they basically slap with some family members and also burned down the house. And what was even more disgusting is that this lady, she was a lady even though her son was creating, our sons were creating all sorts of havoc in the community. She would always back them. She would always give them their support, her support, sorry. So therefore, you know, so people did not really agree with that. But because the two sons them was very bad, because them are some shatter, nobody never do her anything. However, maybe about a couple of years ago, back to back, them take with the two sons them. And when I tell me talk about take with the two sons them, me I talk about bring them go a mad. We are speaking about to the afterlife. So therefore, after that happened, this lady take care of herself and she left Linsid and she went somewhere else. And apparently she turned Christian. She gave her life over to Christ. But people, based on information from persons living in Linsid, it is said that that lady's personality was so bitter, them don't even think that Christ could have helped her or can help her or should have helped her. So people, the moral of the story is this, and there's a saying that goes something like this. God helps those that help themselves. So therefore, if this lady was bitter, if she was an evil person and she went to church, she might have fooled her talk about the church congregation. However, she can't fool God if you believe in a God. So people like me say, it seems as if she thought that if she left the era for a few years and everything cool off, when she went back, all would be forgotten or all would be forgiven. However, we see that that was not the case. We saw that she made a fatal error, point blank and period, because people, she pick up seven piece like me say. So therefore, the moral of the story is this. The bad that you do will always follow you. It will always come back to haunt you and people. In this case, we see say, the son, we see say, the family were haunting persons in a linseed and them basically take with themselves, them basically take them away. So therefore, they are only going to finish the job and like them say people, revenge is a dish that is best served cold. So therefore, whenever you hear me attack, you know that it is revenge. People, that was just a joke. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. And remember, don't buy no puss in a bag down a back road. And even worse, don't buy puss in a bag. That means that don't be brainwashed. That means that don't fall for the okie pokey. Point blank and period.